in the midst of their mission for a national title, the University of Hawaii squad took some time from softball to focus their attention on a terrorist attack that changed America. KITV4 Paul Drews is live in Oklahoma with more. Paul, where did the Wahine go? Well, you may not know this, but Oklahoma City has more than just softball here at the Softball Hall of Fame. A visit here would not be complete without a trip to the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. Today, the Wahine went there and shared an emotional experience, even as they shared their aloha for the victims. In downtown Oklahoma City, this peaceful place invites everyone in to remember what happened when terrorism hit home here in America. And early in the morning on April 19, 1995, it was a day like any other here in Oklahoma City. Gone is the federal building, which was nearly demolished in the blast that killed 168 men, women, and children. In its place, the Wahine wander around memorials in the shape of chairs, large ones for adults, small ones for the nearly two dozen young children who were killed. The emotional side, I think it was good that we came to something like this and we got to see the importance of what being here is all about. And I think some of the children that passed away during this thing, they would be just about the same age as me. So, In respect to those who died or were injured, the Wahine share their aloha, placing lay on the fence surrounding the memorial. And we felt that this was a moment in time in, in American history that we needed to share with our team. This experience gave these gifted athletes a chance to wander through rooms of rubble and personal items found from those who died. The game of softball is briefly set aside as the magnitude of this horrific attack sinks in. Walking through the museum and hearing like survivors actually talk about it was probably the biggest thing I had to like compose myself because it was really sad. While buildings and lives were leveled by the blast, this tree survived and underneath its branches, this team from Hawaii that has fought hard for much this magical season felt a connection. They're talking a little bit about the survivor tree and how uh, it's been through so much and it's resilient and I think that's a lot like our team. Okay, let's go. And while they're there at this special place, the Wahine, which has made a huge impression on softball fans around the country, briefly left their mark on the memorial walls. And what that does, it, it's actually the oils on your hands oxidize with the bronze and your handprint stays here. That's the nice film you see at the bottom of each gate. Now tomorrow there'll be no organized team outings. The players will be free to do whatever they want, explore the city, spend time with family or fans, and just enjoy this World Series experience. Reporting live from Oklahoma City, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.